Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick tip around how to set up what's called a throttle curve on your radio. Now it's perfect for models like this. This is the Armatan Tadpole, a little 114 gram model. But if you have a toothpick or a tiny whoop or anything like that, then there are a number of ways that you can calm the throttle. But this way means that the throttle readout, if you're using it in the on-screen display, stays accurate. And you can have potentially several throttle profiles that you can switch to in your radio quite easily. Now, what this is about is about essentially adding Expo to your throttle around the hover point. Some models like this Tadpole are very, very powerful and they will hover about a quarter throttle. And that is way too powerful to fly indoors. So you want to be able to calm that down around the hover point so you can just gently hover in wherever it is you're flying. So the first thing you need to do is to get your radio so that you can see the value of the throttle channel on the little screen and then go and try a quick test hover. Now I would try and do this with a battery that's kind of halfway discharged because if you set this up for the battery when it's fully charged you'll find that uh, it'll always be sinking. And once you have it hovering just look down briefly and see what the number is. Now on this particular radio it's hovering at minus 58% throttle. Now that's very low but this is a powerful little quad if it's something like a tiny whoop or one of those you'll probably find it's going to be around um, you know minus 10 minus 20 or maybe even plus 10 or plus 20 but make a note of that number that's the one we want to play with land the model disconnect the battery and then come back to the radio now what you need to do is go into the menu and tab across until you find the curves bit and what you want to do is create a new curve make sure it's a five point curve and then go down and make the middle point of those five points equal the value that you've just seen. So in this case, I'm going to make it minus 58. And then what I'm going to do with the points either side is just move them so that the curve is quite gentle either side of that 58. Now, if I really wanted to, rather than it go to 100% on the right-hand side, I could drop that down just to make it far calmer if I'm going to fly indoors. But this one, I'm not going to bother with that. But by doing it that way, that's going to calm the hover point down a lot. The last point here is then what you need to do is go into the inputs, edit the throttle channel, and in there is you're going to add the curve where you'd normally add things like Expo, which I'd add to the controls as well if you wanted to calm things down. Then you can add the curve in here and connect it to the throttle. And now when you go and fly, you should find that the control around the throttle point is an awful lot more precise. There's only one drawback with this because the 50% throttle is a little bit higher on the radio than it was before. Getting into the on-screen display, you might have to push your throttle stick up a little bit more than you normally would to hold it into the position to get into your Betaflight or INAV OSD. But apart from that, that's the only downside that I found. And if it doesn't work in exactly the right way, then you can go in and edit the curve to tweak it to work the way that you want. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.